Hello everyone, this is Darwell20, and welcome to episode 4 of Darwell20's Let's Play Create Above and Beyond series. Uh, hey, check it out. I cleared out a big open area right outside my base. This is pretty much uh, what I spent most of my time between episodes working on. Um, so I have a lot to do, obviously, still, but I wanted to have at least a foundation uh, to, to start working on today to get the ball rolling. Um, so with that said, today's episode, I'm going to focus heavily on, uh, let's see, preparing for all things create, right? I want to make, uh, all the, all the automations. I want to try and get everything going, uh, to, to make things work really well. Uh, so let's get going. I might make another extra hand crank or two until we actually have proper, um, you know, belts and setups and whatnot. So having an extra hand crank might not be a bad idea. And maybe just throw down a crafting station out here. So I haven't really, like, quote-unquote planned out where I want everything to be, but I'm thinking I'll just start building out on the outside area here and then kind of go from there. And then eventually, as we progress through the pack, maybe we'll make some factories, maybe we'll make some better stuff, but I think initially we're going to want everything to kind of just be sitting outside. Does that sound fair? I hope so, because that's pretty much what's gonna happen here um you know so let's uh let's do the thing uh maybe i'll move you over just a little bit uh I'm, I'm thinking maybe here's where i'll put my millstone uh we'll get our seared smelter and heater set up kind of you know back a little bit behind it and i'm gonna want to set this thing back up the way it was so we're gonna want this we're gonna want the faucet into the casting basin with this dude. Yeah, that was a pickaxe, not a shovel. Oh well, life goes on. Uh, I could put a chest under there, but we'll see if I ever, if I, you know, if I need it, I will. Then cool, but I don't know. We'll see. Um, I think we had a cogwheel here, right? Mm, yep, yeah, that works. And then this dude right here. Does that seem fair, or is that too compact? Eh. Should be fine. Maybe I'll move it out just one. Yeah, we don't want super compact here because we're gonna we're gonna eventually have a lot of a lot of stuff going on, a lot of uh, automations and and all that good stuff. All right, and then you're gonna get a nice little lever cooking, and that should be nice. So let's real quick test this bad boy, just to make sure everything's really good. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is get, uh, I did a lot of mining between episodes, as you can maybe potentially see. So that's a thing. All right, cool. And then you crank. And then when there's no more particle effects, then we're good, right? That means we're done. And then we drop these guys in here, and then we throw some coal in the heater, and we should be cool, right? And then fully automated in terms of making the ingots. Sweet. I love it. I do like it. All right, cool. And then now for the mechanical press, we'll kind of throw that back here somewhere. Like, uh, you know, we'll stick you back here-ish with a, I believe you want a block in between. And then we can throw the, the you know what? I kind of like the idea of this guy having the crank on the side. I don't know why that makes sense to me as being cool, but I think that's something we're going to want to do. Cool. All right. So there's, you know, a little bit of a basic start, right, to the world. Not terrible. Just kind of replaced all the things that we made last episode. Now, um, remaining things to make. Uh, you know, we want to make the saw, the fan, and the mixer, right? Um, so let's knock those out real quick just to complete the quests. And then also that'll let us start proceeding down the path, right? Um, so I made, let's see, did I make more of these things? I felt like I made more of those things, but maybe I didn't make more of those things. I thought I made more. You know what? I already made the endocyte alloys. That's why. Okay, yeah. So that's cool. We're going to need more of those still, uh, but we'll get there, right? We'll get there on that. Um, and I still have some more of this, and I do want my saw in my inventory here, just so we're ready with that bit. And that should be cool. Yeah, it works. Cool. All right, so uh, let's do the mixer next, right? Because if we want to make the saw, we're going to need a saw blade. That doesn't look so bad. If we want the mixer, we're going to need the whisk. That doesn't look so bad. If I want the fan, is there anything I need? No, everything else is pretty much based on that stamper. I thought there was something I needed the mixer to make, but maybe I'm uh, 
misremembering that deal. Uh, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. So what do we need to get uh, to make all these things, right? So the saw is going to need a saw blade, which is going to need four iron sheets and a lead ingot. You're going to need four iron sheets and you're going to need five iron sheets. So let's say uh, 13 iron sheets. That sounds cool. So you know what I'm going to have to do? I'm going to have to uh, process a little bit of iron. So I'm going to drop this dude in here and I'm going to hold right click on this for the next five minutes. And then we'll be back once I'm done processing some iron ingots. Cool? Oh, and don't forget, manual hand cranks use a lot of saturation. I milled the day away. All right, so we said 13 iron. And that should be handy and cool. Nice. You know, I kind of like the concept of just starting at such a low tech level that you have to sit here and manually do all this stuff. I know Dyer and automation is a thing, and that will obviously happen very soon, but I always like progression in mod packs where like you start out having to do something very manually and very, you know, slowly, and then you progress to the point where you can automate this and then automate that and then you have the ability to and then all of a sudden like you have like this whole cool factory set up it's just fun for me um so i really like this idea of you know this pack that lets you do that so so far definitely liking it all right 13 of these bad boys now one of these needed lead and i don't know if there's any lead available to me yet i found zinc i found is there lead ore there is lead ore, Y level 1 to 20. Okay, well, hey, that's neat that the ore actually tells you where it can be found. Is that true for all ore? Does all ore say that? That is nice, actually. All right, so I have mined around Y level 10 for a while, uh, surprisingly a long time, and I'm a little bit shocked that I haven't run into lead just yet. Uh, it's a little bit uh, confusing to me, but I'm going to get a couple more iron picks because isn't it iron pick? And we'll uh, be back in a minute once I hopefully find some lead. Oh yeah, I think we did find some lead in this cave down here. Remember, this is the cave that I stumbled upon, but I don't think I had an iron pick capable of mining it just yet. So, there we go. Mission accomplished. Found lead. Alright, now that I've got that, I'm assuming we process lead in exactly the same way. Right? We're just going to drop it in the, in the millstone thing, and then we'll throw it into the smelter and see how it works out. Deal? Uh, luckily, and I will say this, the millstone does not take that long to process stuff. I mean, it feels like it does, but it really doesn't. Um, you know, it's probably faster than a lot of your other tier one machines from tech mods. So like the thermal pulverizer, for example, I feel like it's faster than that. Uh, and I also feel like it's faster than a smelter, right? Like a, a vanilla furnace type deal. So, you know, I'm just saying. All right, so now that we've got this, uh, the mechanical mixer needs a whisk. The mechanical saw needs a saw blade, which is going to need some nuggets. And then uh, this dude needs this. Okay, cool. All right. Now what I might wind up doing is moving this guy outside. Though, that said, we definitely need at least one more of these. So let's get more of these. What did I need more of here? Uh, I assume I need more of that. So let's see, I've got andesite cobble in here somewhere. And I know that because I did enough mining between episodes that I should have enough andesite cobble. That seems pretty good. Uh, we're going to need more of these algae brick things, though. Um, and those were clay, right? Uh, so clay and kelp. Okay, so I'm just going to do that and that. And we better throw a little bit more this in here. Cool? Perfect. All right. Uh, so with that stuff good, now I want one more of these. So that's going to be this, this, and let's get eight of these in total so that we can then get one more of those is three. And then, like I said, I want to move this outside. And it's not a bad idea to have an axe on me, so I'm going to make another one of those real quick. Okay. And then you're going to go right 
here. And the reason I want those separated is because Mr. likes to share inventory, right? Um, cool. So you're going to make the mixer. You're going to make the propeller fan thing and the saw blade thing. And those are all quest completions for me. Sweet. And that, my friends, should be pretty cool. Is that the quest now? It is. And I get some crafting blueprints. Cool. Uh, so that is placed on a wall. It can be used to specify ingredient arrangements for easier manual crafting. Each slot represents a recipe. I am not familiar with this item at all. Oh, hello. Okay. Oh! It just crafted an iron pick! Well, that's cool. And then you left click to remove it. That's neat! Okay, so you put the recipe in there. Right, and then I guess, do I wanna hit the check? Okay, and then, yeah, look. When you mouse over, it shows you, and here's a different, and so there's four different slots that you can interact with. That is cool. That is cool. I like this. I do like this. So look, if I was here and I was like, hey, I want one, two wood, 34, 38, so just right clicking adds them, and then right click that and I get a chest, and left click to remove, and left click an empty spot to, wow, that is, that is a cool, what? That is new. That is new to create. I really like that thing. That is super awesome. All right, and it's nighttime. How cool is that? Am I, am I, am I wrong? I think that is the coolest thing. All right, so that is our preparations phase, right? High aspirations. The earliest inventions reveal one's resourcefulness with low level equipment. Auto crafting, none. Filtering, not cheap. Item transport, may the belt spaghetti mesh in your favor. After hitting the check mark above, the first chapter of the factory guide will become accessible from the quest sidebar. Boom, we are now in chapter one, high aspirations. Also lifesavers, I completed the big plans quest. So that's neat. And we'll just throw a painting into miscellaneous junk. Or I can make more blueprints, to be fair, right? Um, that's also a thing we could do. Cool, okay. Um, and I still don't wanna hand in that, you know, bottles of experience thing, cause I'm gonna die. I'll get it when I need it, all right. So chapter start, welcome to the factory guide. These quests are an automation plan for your upcoming assembly line. Always view them as recommendations on what you should construct a passive supply line for. Uh, the flow graph depicts the connections between relevant recipes and processing. Happy engineering. Sweet. All right, so builder's tea, nice, happy, cool. Uh, what do you got for me here, chief? Speed run, the rigid flow graph of this guide may suggest that items aren't accessible until they have been automated. Be reassured that you already have access to tools from later ages such as filtering, though not without a bit of manual effort. Good to know. All right. Um, cool. Andesite cobble, uh, sand, and kelp. I think we've got a lot of these things already. We already started on some of this stuff, so that's neat. Um, andesite cobble. Have we used all our sand? No, we still have some sand. Uh, that's neat. And then, uh, cool. And then, yeah. Sweet. All right, so let's just check this off, right? So a passive supply of timber would be a good first effort. Mechanical saws are a powerful way to achieve this. Yes. No rewards for that. Uh, gathering andesite manually takes time. Thankfully, bedrock can cause lava to form andesite indefinitely. That's neat. At this time, it is best to keep up drills to break generated blocks between lava and water. Um, since bedrock is blocking the space beneath, you'll have to find a way to collect the drops from other sides. Huh. Cool. That's neato that you can automate andesite with bedrock in this pack. Uh, a good way to automate sand at this moment is to build strainers. Uh, and kelp is a vital ingredient in our first assembly line target us and a site alloy. Kelp can be gathered automatically with mechanical harvers, just harvesters. Uh, strainers might be a thing to get. Um, collects general items, requires a strainer base. Shift for more info. But, so that has, this gets sand and clay. Okay. 
Uh, this one gets salmon, some kind of fish, uh, and uh, some random items, it looks like. This one, specialty fishing net, gets lots of different kinds of interesting fish. Uh, and a strainer baits, generates items while in water, requires a strainer on top. So the sediment strainer looks like it needs canvas, which is straw or canvas rug from Farmer's Delight. Uh, straw is made with a millstone with wild rice or rice panicle. I got rice. I found rice out and about somewhere at some point when I was exploring. Uh, here we go, rice. So let's let's review that again. Straw is basically milling wild rice or rice panicle. Okay. Cool. Cool. I'm trying to think of how that works. Or we can buy it. That's a thing. But uh, when I broke the rice in the world, it gave me this. So I don't know what the deal is. I think this needs to be planted in water. So we'll let them grow for a little bit and see how that works out. And obviously I've been, you know, doing a lot of hungry work, so. All right, so let's check out these quests here and what it wants me to get. Uh, I feel like I'm gonna need a couple extra hand cranks while I'm here, so let's get a couple more of them. Uh, the mechanical saw, if it's facing upwards, reportedly. No, oh, that's not bad. Do I wanna put you into the ground or no? Nah, let's just place it like that, right? And then you, and then apparently, do I do that? Oh, look at that. Sweet, quest complete. Check. Check. So I do this, and that'll get me six of those oak planks. And then you can do that. That one takes a little bit longer. Aha. Cool. All right. So this is all about making this, right? And you want me to automate these steps? Huh. Well, I think the first process... Well, I mean, I've done a lot of these. The andesite list. All your andesite is likely not being generated near your factory. Figure out a way to bring it to the surface. So I guess the check marks here are whether or not I've actually automated these steps. Which, I mean, technically I haven't automated any of them yet. Because in my mind, automated means, like, belts, right? And we don't have belts yet. Am I wrong? Am I crazy? We don't have belts yet, right? What's involved in making belts? Mechanical belts need cured rubber from thermal. Uh, which needs smelted rubber or blasted rubber, right? And rubber comes from... We can do that to make rubber, vines and water, or some kind of flour and water. Really, that's it? Or we can get resin, which comes from the arboreal extractor, which I was told to make, remember. Uh, I was told to make that. 25, 25, 25. I'm just curious if any of these are a higher number than 25. Nothing seems higher than 25, so that's good to know. Okay, so is the arboreal extractor something I can make? Actually, yes. Actually, yes, I can get one of those right now. So I should probably work towards that. So what I'm going to do... Um, yeah, we should, we should consider automating a majority of these things if we can. Um... Now, is a harvester something I can get as well? Uh, mechanical harvester. I need two of those. Oh, I get two of those from stone cutting and andesite machine. Well, that's neat. How do you determine which of these blocks you're going to get? That's an exceedingly good question. 
block cutting from create. How would one determine these all these items come from cutting up an andesite machine? But then how do you determine which one you get? Andesite machines ain't cheap, friends. Uh, also, let's talk about, is there a cheaper way to make these things? Sequenced assembly can make it happen. Um, let's try this. I'm curious if I can make this happen. Because that would be cool, right? If we can make this, this sequenced assembly thing happen. I'm just not quite sure how sequenced assembly works just yet. We'll figure it out together. Together, we'll figure it out. Maybe I'll just knock out all these quests just to have them done, and then we can see what comes up next, right? Uh, so clay is complete. Algae blender. Well, I do need more of that, but yeah, let's see. Uh, let's see. You to you to you. Just to kind of, you know, note all this stuff. All right, and look, we get rewards for completing the chapter. So that is kind of nice. Let's let's just finish this with the, yes, I haven't automated any of these yet. We will circle back and automate these before we really proceed. Is that fair? Okay, I would like to, a row of deployers concludes. All right, so let's see, deployers. Deployers, I think, it was the golden hand that needed this? No, maybe not. All right, so that we're gonna need andesite machines. So let's try and get three andesite machines so that we can make three deployers so that we can uh, try this assembly line thing. Cause I'm curious as to how this works and I really have no idea. I guess we'll figure it out, right? Um, so to do that, right, what we're gonna want is basically 24 of these. Yeah, we're gonna need a lot more of this, which is why I smelted up all that stuff. And if I have to go underground and get more andesite cobble, I shall. But I think we're cool for a minute, at least. Is there a fancier way to make this? I can buy it, I can mixer it, but that's just the same exact output. So not worth doing in my opinion. Okay, uh, and then we're going to need, what's funny is when I put that into my own personal crafter, it, it came up a little bit easier and all, yeah. So if I did 24 of those, right, and then I need two more of these, then I should have no problem getting this. And then I need 12 golden sheets. Right? How am I for you? Oh, it's nighttime. All right, so I think we're good here. I just, you know, did all the crafty stuff off camera and got this ready. So I've got three, count them, three golden hands, which should be now three deployers. Cool. Um, and then obviously mechanical crafters can make those too in some point in the future when we when and if we decide we need to automate those. Now it looks like if I'm looking at the the assembly sequence thing, we're gonna need some um, of these depots, right? Um, so we should probably have that on the on the to do list, right? So we're gonna want you know a handful of those, right? New recipes unlocked, sweet. All right, so how does this work? I have no idea. I'm assuming it's something like this. And then... Like that? Okay. That seems like it might work. Uh, now you need some more shafts. Yeah, let's just get three of those and then sleep through this here night. Um, and I'm what I'm obviously gonna have to do this the manual way, right? Until we can really get automating. But my guess is it's something like, oh, you know what, we needed those slabs, didn't we? We want oak slabs. So we're gonna wanna, we're gonna want this to be fully automated at some point, but the main kinetic mechanism is two andesite alloys and then a stone saw in the third slot. 
right? So what I'm gonna do is set this up like so. Let's do eight and eight. Does that sound good? So do I just put you in there and you in there and you in there? And then what, here? Incomplete frenetic, okay. Oh, I see. Two out of three. Okay. That's kind of cool. I got it. I got it. So it needs to be hit twice by this one or one, one. That, okay, interesting. Now, how do I... How do I get... I guess instead of these depots, we would have conveyor belts, right? Um, so that's kind of cool. Oh, look at you. Recipe filter. Ah, maybe that's why... Maybe that's how we do the thing with the thing. Filter from create? Oh. So I am definitely not sawing things the way I would expect to. Uh, yeah. Oh my, there is a lot of things that this make from XP decos. Why and how did I do this wrong? Block cutting versus sawing. All right, but you are definitely a saw. I don't get it. What am I doing wrong here? You definitely gave me a, does it like take turns? Deciding what it's gonna give me? My goodness, that's a lot of nonsense. All I want is slabs, buddy. All I want is slabs. Now I just need to look at all the different things that you're making here. My goodness. Uh, okay, cool. I need to figure out, I mean, I assume there's 12 different types of things it can make. So if I were to get a slab first, right? And now obviously, you know, but if I put the recipe filter there for slab, does that mean it's always gonna make slabs? I assume that's the way this works. Now, obviously I don't need to use this to make slabs. Um, to the point that it almost doesn't make sense to use it to make slabs because I can either do, you know, double your oak planks into slabs this way or do it this way. So why would I do it this way? I don't know. I don't think there's any real benefit to that. Uh, but good to know that all this, I mean, that's kind of how you filter it. Now, my question then would be when we want to... When we want to saw our... Uh, these guys into something like this. If we don't have it already, how do we... We can use vanilla stone cutter. Okay. Okay, I got it. So if we got a stone cutter from vanilla, right, then we could use it to get... I got it. I got it. Right? Then we could use it, you know, to do whatever we wanted to do. Right? Then we could get the item this way manually, and then if we want to automate it eventually, we could filter it with the recipe filter that we got from that, and then we can put it in, a, in like a, you know, assembly line kind of deal. Does that sound cool? All right. It's starting to come together in my brain how all this stuff is going to work. Uh, and this is absolutely going to need belts. So I think belts is going to be a big part um, of what we're going to need pretty soon. Right? So that is chapter complete, which is neat. Um, let me get ready to put away some of this nonsense. Because my inventory is feeling pretty full at the moment. Yep. Yep. 
That's good enough. Uh, so hey, boom, boom, boom. Uh, I just need to make another one of those. So let's let's do it the assembly line way, right? Um, so if I were to get those eight wood slabs and put them there, let's just remove this. There's got to be a way, right? Is there a way to get this out of here? Oh, there we go. Okay. That's neat. So once it's on a conveyor bell, this is gonna be much better, right? Now in theory, he'll stop moving when he can't do nothing no more. So you've got a two out of two. You're a two out of two. Absolutely better to do them by hand, I suspect. I'm just trying to understand how it works a little bit. Yeah. I don't think there's any reason to do this the slow way. This is the slow way until we get belts. Right? Definitely the slow way until we get belts. I was going to say, I feel like I'm short one, and I was. Uh, actually, yeah, no, you go back in there. Perfect. All right, one more quick nap. And then we should be good to make one of these so that we can complete this chapter. Did I give, oh yeah, that's right. I left all these things in the thing. Yeah, so I'm, I'm understanding how this works now. Like it's starting to click in my brain a little bit at least how this thing works, which is kind of neat. I'm, I'm liking it. I like the idea of that like sequenced assembly process. That is actually really cool. Um, so yeah, now we should be good to make one of these, and therefore one of these. And yes, I've already made these, obviously, right? But yay for getting rewards. Yay, extra kinetic mechanisms. I'll absolutely take those. Uh, and a little bit more redstone dust wouldn't go awry either. So hey, that's sort of chapter one complete, right? Chapter one is technically complete. Um, which means now that this is done, now, now it says automated, but not really, right? We have to get rubber. Uh, while copper machines will definitely be required going forward, full automation of their ingredients is completely optional. After hitting the check mark above, additional quests located in the first chapter will be revealed. Ooh. Um, and then the chicken and egg problem remains. In order to automate precision mechanisms for brass equipment, more conveniently having more brass equipment would be really useful. After hitting the check mark above, the second chapter of the factory guide will become accessible. All right, let's let's just look at what's up. So in chapter one now, we want to, oh wait, don't chop, contraption nine. Uh, liquid resin can be extracted from healthy trees using our boreal extractors, the more the merrier. So it wants me to make four, which is probably a good hint. And then we want to get rubber, and then we want to get curing, and then we want to get all sealed up, which will get me a sealed mechanism, uh, which will lead towards a copper machine. Sweet. So we definitely want to automate some of these objects. But I think before we can really automate things, we're going to want to get belts, right? I think this is going to be the most important part of this. Um, we should also plan for how we're going to like do things like water wheels. Is this doable right now? It absolutely is. Cool. So I've got a basic understanding of how some stuff works here. We're going to want to start setting up water wheels and probably windmills and a couple other things to really make our lives go. Right, um, if we were to look at you in the ponder screen, we can also see other kinetic sources, right? So we looked at hand crank, 
Uh, water wheel is usually a good starter. Encased fan is really low, if I remember. Kinetic stress impact is low. Kinetic stress generates four RPM, generates eight to 16 RPM. So I think water wheels are definitely the way to go for, for that. Windmills will be a little bit more you know, process intense. And then furnace engines and flywheels are in the brass age. So I don't think we're gonna be seeing that anytime too soon, right? Not anytime too soon. Um, so let's do this. Let's wrap up the episode here. We'll come back next episode. We'll start getting water wheels in place so that we don't have to hand crank everything. We'll probably tear all this down. Um, what I would love to have is a trash can. Is there anything that's like a trash can so I can void stuff? The nullifier is a zinc machine, which is chapter 2A. So it's going to be a while before I have access to a trash can. I mean, obviously a bucket of lava will do. But uh, we'll come back next time. We'll get the arboreal extractor set up. Then we will get um, some resin going and some rubber so we can get belts so that we can, you know, do water wheels and machines and all that good stuff, right? But for now, it's wrapping up points. So Donald 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We'll come back next time to uh, start automating for real all the stuff in this chapter, right? Like we didn't actually automate andesite. We didn't actually automate uh, kelp, but we will. And, and the same for sand, right? We'll get, uh, we'll get that going too. So there's so much, so much to do. Um, we're gonna want that strainer as well with the sediment strainer. Uh, what was this again? Straw, uh, it's crushing the rice. Yeah, we'll have to see. Uh, so you can see I, my rice looks like it has grown over here uh, in the interim period, right? So rice crops, this one's mature. Oh good, you do give me it. Okay, so wild rice, okay, that's cool. Neat. Well, that's nifty. How cool is that? I can I can work with this, right? That is definitely cool. Right? And then we can use this to get the thing that I need, right? So that's pretty cool. All right, definitely wrapping up point though. So Dial 20 signed off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We'll come back next time. Lots to automate, right? We've just getting our bearings and trying to understand how things work, right? But Hey, rice and straw. Oh, that's cool. That is cool. I remember this rice, I think, can be used for, like, some semblance of decent-ish food. Maybe I'm crazy. Yeah. Definitely some cool things. I'm going to go plant more of it, though. Is that cool? Yeah. All right, all right. For real, let's wrap it up. Point. Double 20 signing off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.